afternoon. My name is Brian Adams. I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service in San Diego. And I'm going to provide you your weekly weather briefing starting today, March 25th, 2024. We're starting things off with a satellite loop here showing the mostly clear skies that occurred this morning followed then by the developing cumulus clouds you see outside now that occurred largely during the late morning and early afternoon hours. We don't expect any additional rainfall out of this activity, so it will be remaining cool and dry for the remainder of today. Let's take a quick look at some of the observed rainfall totals that we saw this past weekend. Largely across portions of Orange County and the Inland Empire saw largely light rainfall totals out of this one with some more appreciable rainfall totals as you get more so up into the mountains in those regions. But then it's particularly in the mountains as well as across a lot of San Diego County is where more of the more significant rainfall totals fell, especially in the mountains where we see really a lot of the mountainous areas, not just in San Diego County, but also up through Riverside and San Bernardino counties received upwards of one to two inches, the highest falling in the mountains of San Diego County near Lake Cuyamaco in, in particular. Even, for, even lower elevations of San Diego County, generally east of the 15, did fairly well with this one, receiving anywhere from about a half of an inch to upwards of a full inch of rain between I-15 and the coastal mountain foothills. Let's take a look at the winds that we are expecting tonight. We do expect those westerly winds, those onshore winds, coming from the west to increase later on this evening and continue through, through Tuesday morning. It looks like the strongest winds will generally be occurring over your mountain ridge lines, below your mountain passes, and through any wind-prone canyons, generally on the east-facing desert mountain slopes. Uh, we do also expect multiple rounds of winds of similar strength to occur again later this week, mainly on Thursday afternoon and evening, as well as again on Friday afternoon and evening as well. So let's take a look at this weekend. By now, I'm sure at least a few of you have heard that we are expecting another Pacific storm system to arrive in Southern California later on this weekend. Um, right now, the bulk of any impacts look like they're going to be occurring during the Saturday through Monday time frame. Though, again, we are still several days out, so this is subject to change. But for now, we do want to show the, sleep, the Climate Prediction Center graphic highlighting those 70 to 80 percent above normal precipitation chances during the March 31st through April 4th time frame. Again, this will kind of fall right at the very beginning of our storm system here. So like we mentioned, it is still several days out, so we're not entirely confident on exactly how much rain is going to be falling. But if we take a look at things from a probabilistic sense, we can convey that we're pretty confident that between 6 a.m. Saturday and 6 a.m. Monday, it is going to be raining in many of these areas from the coasts into the deserts. It's just a matter of exactly, you know, fine tuning those amounts. So we have pretty high confidence that there will at the very, very least be light rain in a lot of these locations. But especially as we get into uh, more of the mountainous terrain, that's where you're going to see potential for those multi-inch rainfall amounts increase. Um, even, at, even at some of the coasts and valleys, we do have some you know, notable chances for, multi, for a multi-inch rainfall event with this storm this coming weekend. So stay tuned as we provide additional details as we approach the onset of the actual event. And then similarly, you know, as, since we don't have an entirely clear picture of exactly how much rain is going to fall, that also is going to bleed over into our snowfall forecast. But for now, we can at least take another look at a probabilistic sense. It does look like snowfall levels will start somewhere between 6,500 to about 7,000 feet, maybe falling to as low as somewhere between five and 6,000 feet by the time uh, Sunday and Monday roll around. So it's definitely going to favor some um, more snow for some of our higher elevation mountain communities near Big Bear Lake and near Wrightwood to really get some more of those uh, significant potential snowfall totals. Um, and then when we look you know, farther south across San Diego County, Palomar Mountain and Mount Laguna, it's going to take a really long time for those, snowfall up, for those snow levels to drop. So not expecting quite as much in the way of uh, additional significant accumulating snowfall in those particular areas. So let's wrap it up with some key takeaways here. We do expect multiple rounds of gusty winds from the west to occur in multiple rounds this week, the first one being tonight, the second, the second and third rounds being Thursday afternoon and evening and Friday afternoon and evening, respectively, with the strongest winds occurring, again, in your mountain and desert slopes. Uh, we, st we do still expect that Pacific storm system to arrive this weekend. Again, looking at increasing chances for rain, gusty winds, and mountain snow, all looking likely Saturday through Monday. We do have fairly high confidence in the overall occurrence of those. It's just where we get into the exact timing, the exact rain and snow amounts, as well as the wind speeds. Those are fairly low confidence just because, again, we are still five or six days out at this point. So stay tuned for additional updates as we approach the event and details become more clear. That's going to do it for this briefing. So, please, so again, thank you all for watching. Please check out our webpage at weather.gov slash SGX or weather.gov slash San Diego for more. Or check us out on social media and see the messaging we're providing there. Thank you and have a wonderful week.